Greetings, Suburban. I took back to Let's Play Crash Bandicoot Warp. Last time we started Warp Room 4, and I got the Sapphire. So in this part, uh, I'm gonna go down this route. Since I already have the box gem and all, hey, may as well show you how to do it. Yeah. So I lied. There were there were nitrous crates. And an artificial checkpoint. That almost those doors almost crushed me. <laughs> but yeah, the only reason why you would go down that ray that ray that way is for the four lives. Better if you already have the box gem. Because to my knowledge the blue gem path is up ahead. Oh, you're joking with me, game. I was not crushed by that. And after hitting the checkpoint, they turned into Wumpa Fruit. God, I remember those spike traps and entranced. That, that's how you kill the certain boss. I love that boss, but that's that was a really interesting boss fight. I can skip those light traps by jumping around it. Fit. There's so much you can do with this Death Tornado spin. It kind of breaks the game. I just need to find that blue gem path. Ah, here it is. It was up here. Wow. That was some pro platforming. <laughs> Alright, time to die. That artificial checkpoint. This entire level is made out of this black tar skating thing. Nope. That guy got crushed. Whoa! That was a uh, that was a death. That was stupid. I are I are the dumb. Oh, you got. I like how that con that constitutes a death. Like I could just spin attack all that crap off of me. Gotta get those ice physics in somewhere. Yeah, it's still surprising we don't have that much of an issue with ice physics in games. I don't know why. I just feel like this would be the natural sort of thing. Like you would, like naturally you wouldn't have solid footing on ice. And, g and video game just accentuates that fact. Maybe just the way that, maybe just the way that they hammer it in. I don't know. There you go. Come on, a sub. But I almost didn't make it there. That was a little concerning. But hey, all good in the end. And all it took was about three minutes, four minutes, including intro and that alternate path down level 16. So and that's done. I could go back into level 20 and actually do it properly, because you don't need anything to get all the boxes in it. But, uh... I, wanna, I just want to go back to the future! Let's go. It'll be fun. A hundred thirty-three boxes! You can't get all of them, by the way. I think... You need the green gem to get all the boxes in this level. That or an alt- No! Actually, I you need an alternate warp to get all of them. Yeah, you need an alternate warp. You need the emerald for the other gem in this level. Yeah. 
Yeah, welcome to the future. Isn't it grand? Everything looks so high-tech and ready to kill me. Is that thing in this level? I don't think it is. No, because you wouldn't have a way to kill it. It's just like everything in this level will vaporize you. Because of the death animation, everything in this level. Since we haven't found the checkpoint yet, I'm not going to test that fury right away. No, there's one enemy in this level that won't vaporize you. Love this. These UFO dudes. Despite the appearances that they have spikes on them, you can't jump on them. These platforms will occasionally turn red and sideways. You can't jump on them while that happens. You gotta wait for them to turn green again. They're like, they're like stoplights of the future! They've actually never seen Back to the Future. Ow. So this plat- I don't know why they're Wumper Food on this, because this thing will make you get rid of them all. Because it activates the Death Tornado Spin. Got a slide slash crawl under that. Whoa! I, uh, I thought I was gonna die there. I thought I fell into the pit. I haven't run into the bonus level yet. Is it up here? Past here, I know that at least. Okay, uh, I could go on that or I could just activate these. Because you will kill yourself if you land on the TNT wall, you take that platform, because it counts as you doing a spin attack on it. Anyway, get this and get an artificial checkpoint at least part. Wow, they tell you what you need to do here. I think this is to help you practice. Um, yeah, the double jump death tornado spin maneuver. That's the only way to get past some of these obstacles. I don't know. It's nice training without losing, without the cost of, uh, or without the risk of losing the weapon, I should say. I was a little apprehensive apprehensive there. Yeah. As they crouch into these things, the crystal's right here. Almost what he's doing. Oh was I touching so that he didn't instantly die to that nitrous crate? The end of the level somewhere around here. I think there's one more section like this. <laughs> so these are the only enemies in this level, or those things that I have the spikes that pop up. That don't vaporize you. I, oh, I almost went through the level without dying. Yeah, you need an alternate warp to get, all, to get the box gem for this one. Because the end of the level was right there as the nitro detonation switch uh, basically led you to believe. Don't worry, it's not a ruse. The end of the level is right there. <laughs> yeah! You're still missing... 40 boxes, almost. I think the actual number is 37. But yeah, there is an alternate warp there, but I forget how many relics you need. I think it's 20? 20 or 25, which is a lot. So yeah, settle for crystal. Now, we go back into Tomb Raider. So, I don't think you need anything for the box. We just need to break them all.
Also, I think it was wrong in the last one when I said the water didn't indeed move, and I think it does slightly. Oh, I did it again. Hope I'm not getting the Skull and Crossbones path this time around, which is good. Because I already got it. Oh, come on, miss. Are you kidding me? Oh, why? Now I'm just playing stupid. But I'm playing this stupid now. I still have the boss fight to do. That guy again. It's the first deck point passed. As well as the bonus room, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm correct. I hate being correct and things like that. After I've died, of course. Uh, yeah, I thought this was a trap. You can hear the sound that I make when I hit my headset because it's just that close to my forehead. I could make that. Ah. I suck at precise platforming today apparently. Which is weird because I unintentionally did a really... Wow. The Skull and Crossbones platform didn't give me nearly as much trouble as this did. Okay, it did. I'm not gonna lie about that. Okay. So, you, again, you need to double jump and Death Tornado Spin to pass, to pass this obstacle. Alright, five hits on these. Got it. Okay, so... Nope! Ah. There's the slightest delay that screwed me on that one. Oh well. Saddle up and try again. Not concerned about lives though, as you can as you can clearly tell. Maybe I should be. I don't know. I'm surprised it gave me the Wumpa Fruit for that one. I thought it took too long. Oh, god damn. Come on! You get my head in the game. I did so well leading up to this. And now, I'm spending most of my time on this bonus room. This is the simplest stuff I had to make for it, too. Are you kidding me? Ugh. What do you mean I didn't break that that time? I swear. Hit detection. 
Hit the Texan Keck. I think this would be easier with the power up I got from this level. Then again, that power up just breaks the game, even though it doesn't have a lot of practical use. All things considered. Oh well. I'm gonna try this again and then we're gonna cut it out. There's something I'm missing in this for in this bonus level too that I haven't gotten to yet. We make it this time. I didn't need the death tornado spin that. You lied to me, game. Oh, that's what I need the death tornado spin for. So in theory, I could have. I think it's this that I messed up that on. The detonation and the nitrous would have destroyed those five, those four boxes below that. Uh, game, why you do this? I'm gonna. I'm gonna accidentally drown myself. Maybe after. Finally finding success in that bonus of the drama immediately afterwards. It's Father's Day tomorrow. Just a random segue out of that, but I need to change this topic of conversation with myself somehow. Yeah, this is uh, June 20th as I'm recording this. So, want to hear a funny story. I was adamant that Father's Day was the week before it actually is. Like I told my uh, dad Happy Father's Day like last Sunday. Completely, absolutely 100% certain that I was correct in thinking that it was last Sunday because Mother's Day is the second Sunday in May so I thought the same was true for Father's Day. It's not. And that completely screwed up my head. That, like all these men, like what are we gonna do? Do how I'm gonna celebrate this? But like, why are my mom and my sister nagging me about this? Because they generally do that. Uh, I need to activate this. And activate something behind here. It to activate that. But I can fail to jump on. Wow, I've done. I think all those devs in the bonus room were starting to pile up because now they're throwing Aku Aku masks at me. It's the first time I've seen Pity from this game. Uh, I, I hovered through the um. If I had hovered through that using the different tornadoes, then I might have lived. There's the crystal. I thought they were slamming doors right here. I think there would be a place for it. It's incorrect in my assumption. I think you can stand on top of the shield, but not so. Right. Pass that. Checkpoint. Progress again. That was stupid of me. And the game will not give me any more pity. I think they're already give me Aku Aku masks. Like, I'm dying to the enemies, clearly. It's not the insta kill water. Wow, I couldn't even see that. I had to pause momentarily as you saw. Because my capture started freaking out again. Surprise I lived. Uh, 
I recognize that sound effect though. That was from the that was from the great great yeah, the great gate from the first Crash Bandicoot. Uh, okay, we're playing with my nostalgia and I love you for it so much. What? I was not close enough to that TNT box where a spin would blow it up. You're gonna throw me all the way back here. Calling bullshit, game. I don't even think invincibility will save you from the water now that I think about it. If you had free Aku Aku masks, I don't think it'd help. I don't think you'd be able to help. This is only the one that you found up at this point, right? Not to mention them. Yeah, that's what I did last time, and again, the game killed me for it. Throw some damn consistency. Out of here. Yeah! Box gem, get! Let's get out of here. Are you ready? This next boss is gonna be awesome. Probably gonna square off of Engine again. I'm gonna love every minute of it. This is by far one of my favorite boss fights in the game. Like, Dingo Dye was cool and all, but I love this fight more than that. The final boss of the game trumps this, in my opinion, but uh, but engine's a close second. Again. Wait, I'm fighting this boss as Coco? What kind of heresy is this? So, you want to go a few rounds? When this is over, we'll see who's obsolete. Yeah, let's go. Let's go a few rounds. I'm pumped, Engine. You're thrown right into the thick of it. Against Engine. And you're fighting as Coco. You have the same life bar mechanic as the Flimp level. I think every hit deals 10 damage. Just about. Focus the shining spots. There are missile launchers on his shoulders, gallon guns on his arms, and um something gets fired from his chest, but I don't want to remember what it is. It's a fire. The only way to hit hit those targets though is wet. And they're firing. You can hit the chest at any time, but there's no guarding it. So, besides the fact that we're playing as Coco, and these things take a million hits, you're probably wondering why I think this fight is so great, because, in all honesty, so far, it doesn't seem all that different from the first fight with them. I wouldn't disagree with you for that. Raise your f***ing arm. He's not raising his arm! Oh no, did I glitch the game? I think I glitched the game! Cause you're not supposed to destroy that chest big bird, you're supposed to destroy it last! Oh no, I glitched the game! <laughs> I can't win! I have to exit and re-enter the level! And the boss! Wait, that instantly restores all the buttons?! Shit, I never knew that! If I had known that, I would've... If I had done that, I wouldn't have done what I did in the last part. Would have gone through Tomb Waiter first. Air to be pulverized, Bandicoot. 
So this time I'm not gonna destroy the chest first. You go for his missile launchers are annoying, so are the Gavin guns. Wow, you can destroy you can destroy those things like immediately though. Ow. Ah, those Gavin guns hurt. Missiles all take off 10% of your health. I can't believe I actually did that glitch, though. I never knew that happened. So now we get to see that uh, attack come from his chest. Oh, it just launches missiles, okay. So far over, right? Wrong! And Pura comes along for the ride as well. Yep, this fight has another phase to it. And you have to beat it all in one continuous go. the first fight in the series to have multiple phases to it. Like, mul all right, I say multiple phases, but I mean multiple uh, life bars. Ow, 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 ow. I'm not making any progress at all on this boss, though. Die. Yep, down I go. Fortunately, you do have to start. So you can destroy it immediately if you focus fire on it as soon as it pops up. But if you can't, avoid it at all costs. Ow. Way too many hits. Focus on one shoulder launcher at a time because this fight can easily turn into bullet hell, though, at the later stages of the fight, though, can it? Everything you need to dodge. I don't think there is a dodge mechanic. Because circles shoots. And there's nothing that dodges. Ow. And those plastic shots. Okay, so you can destroy the thing that comes from the bottom down there. Right, one down. I think these things all take less hits than the first phase, though, but there's a lot more of them. So this fight can very easily become like a bullet hell style thing. If you allow it to. He doesn't seem very keen on allowing that to happen, though. He took out his uh, arms. Maybe I should focus the thing down on his bot uh, down here though. I'm like shooting these. I got it, I think. Yeah, the only thing left are his rocket launchers. I can't even tell how many hits hits I have to fire because everything <laughs> looks just so powerful. I got two of them. I gotta get the other half. Up this 
like so much. It's awesome. It's like a Gradius style shooter. Yeah! Not again. For this, you get probably the most useless power up out of the five. It's awesome and I love it, but it doesn't have a lot of use, unfortunately. The Wumpa Fruit Bazooka! To fire fruit at a target, hold L2 button to raise gun, aim for the directional buttons, and press circle to fire. It's awesome, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't have a lot of practical use, unlike the double jump and the Wumpa Fruit Bazooka. Anyway, press triangle to continue. It's funny how history repeats itself. Yet again, Engine has failed to defeat you. For this, we must destroy you! <laughs> oh, my aching head. I'm not feeling myself these days. So, the end is in sight. Gather another five crystals, and again you will have foiled my plan. Or will you? What do you mean, will we? Of course we will! That's what we do. We're the good guys. We're Crash Bandicoot. We're gonna stop you, Doc. I don't get how they just throw you out of the boss fight, though, even when you win against it. That's a thing. Oh, well. So next time, let's play Crash Bandicoot Warped. Also, you can't use the Warp Room Bazooka out here in the Warp Room. Cry. The final Warp Room. The future one. With levels such as Gone Tomorrow. Orange Asphalt. Oh, no, not another motorcycle level. Flaming Passion. The level where you get the emerald in. And for Mad Bombers. And Bug Light. Which I believe is another Egyptian themed level. So that makes four of them in this game. Anyway. That's for next time. I will see you all then. Goodbye, everybody.